Hey guys, it's Lane with Crafty Life Mom and welcome to my channel. So for today's DIY, I am making this chalkboard recipe holder using items mostly from the Dollar Tree with the exception of this mini rolling pin which I got off Amazon and I will link down below. So for this DIY, I decided to paint the mini rolling pin a black and white color. You can certainly leave it red and natural toned, but I painted it since I was using a black chalkboard and a white cutting board paddle from the Dollar Tree. In the end of this video, I will show you a version of the red cutting board using the rolling pin unpainted. So to do this DIY, it is very simple. I simply just hot glued the chalkboard down to the paddle and pressed it down into place. Once the glue was dry, I took out some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and cut it into a bow shape and actually secured the bow with some twine that I also had from the Dollar Tree. You can see here I'm just fixing it to see how I want it and then I took that twine and just tied a piece of it around and cut the tails off the bow in order to secure it in place. And then I took a piece of that same burlap ribbon and folded it into a third and just wrapped it around the center of the bow so that it looked like it was actually all tied together. This was also so that I could have a little bit of a place to actually glue the bow down to the top of the paddle. And I actually secured the bow or hot glued the bow to the very top of the paddle just above the chalkboard so that I could have as much room as possible on this chalkboard to write recipes or clip recipe cards or even lay my phone without having the bow be in the way. Next, I took one of those clips from a six pack, also from the Dollar Tree. It's actually a magnetic clip and I just took some hot glue and secured it down. Once the miniature rolling pin paint was dry, I secured it down with hot glue at the very bottom. And there you go, there is the paddle. Now you can actually purchase a stand from Walmart or even a picture frame stand from the Dollar Tree, but I decided to actually take this coffee cup frame and glue it to the back to create its own stand on the chalkboard recipe holder. And you can see here, I'm just removing the little clip and screw that they had already on here. I liked using this coffee frame stand because it was a little bit thicker and would be a little bit more sturdy. You can simply use a regular five by seven picture frame backing and glue that to the back of it if you want to. I just used this one because it was something I already had laying around. And again, it also came from the Dollar Tree. Once you do that, this is how it looks. And I just love the way it turned out and how it's displayed in my kitchen. And as promised, here's a look at the red version with the unpainted rolling pin. And I think it looks just as cute if red is a kitchen color that you have in your kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.